You know, I love filmmaking, and I always have. I grew up, my father was a, a low-budget filmmaker, but I love the filmmaking process, and, and honestly, I wanted to be a director when I was younger. Um, I've been fortunate to, in my career to do some big films as a production designer, so to have this opportunity um, was, was such an excitement. It was, there was nothing um, frightening about it, in, you know, in my mind. It was a, a, a big challenge, but uh, it, was, it was something that, that I wanted to have fun with. It, it's something I always thought was there, and then to find out it, it actually is there, and that is the, the strength of, of connecting with actors emotionally and, 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 and working together to bring out a performance. That, that I always imagined how I would do that, and, and, and then actually doing that um, was a pleasant surprise. I think y you have to be emotional yourself, and you have to be a great observer of the world yourself. Um, directing is is a, a job, but it, it, it's it's not. My job isn't to teach people how to act. My job is to interpret emotions and and then distribute them um, properly in a certain order that makes sense for an entire scene or entire film. So you become a, a observer of life, then you can understand emotions. You can direct. It, there there are elements uh, of the story and the characters themselves that we can relate to because they're the same problems we have in our everyday lives. But um, so it's fun to to do a film where you can relate to the same problems in many ways that the characters are having, but set in a fantastic world that you're able to sort of immerse yourself in and, and um, you know step out of your own life for two hours and in, in, you know explore a world not only visually but emotionally it's uh, something special about that I love the the sort of great great hall that we built it was you know right out of the days of like total old-school uh, big films of the like 1930s swashbuckler movies and stuff and it was sort of cool to see you know one of those big real Hollywood sets and so I think you know uh, seeing that with your own eyes with with this great character Maleficent in there blocking a scene fantastic she was already attached when I arrived but she, she had always been interested in this character and I think she not only physically embodied that character and became that character but she brought the, the important part which was the the engaged emotional side to things. And if you combine that, then it's a super powerhouse. I, I think um, you want to step back into your own life and, and hopefully you, you may have learned something about the definition of what you consider love to be, perhaps. If, if, that's, if that happens, uh, you know, one time I would be happy because that was the intent.